super excited to be here today at Chiang Mai Art Museum. Now, this place is just a little northeast of uh, Chiang Mai. Uh, it's a fabulous day for it, absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to get some coffee down me as well. Welcome to Coffee Trails Thailand. So, as you can see, there's a small admission charge to come in here. Um, 100 baht for adults and seniors, 50 baht for students, uh, and a small child is free. Yeah, they don't say how small that is. Okay, 100 baht, that's like about two quid or three dollars, depends where you're from. Uh, let's go and have a little look, brief look inside before we head over and get a cup of coffee. So yeah, as I said, I'm super excited to be here. Uh, this is the reception area. Uh, I'm gonna just show you uh, as we go around here. You can see already there's lots of art everywhere as well. Uh, and just through here, uh, let's go around. Already you can see there's a gallery here uh, with some pretty splendid things going on. Uh, let's go over to the coffee shop, which is just a bit further over there. We're going to go and get some coffee because we are coffee trails but of course if you're a regular uh, viewer of this channel you will know that although we're called coffee trails thailand we don't just look at coffee places we we i try to look at all the stuff that uh, that's nearby en route if i see something interesting that i think you guys might like then te i tend to want to go there uh, elephant parks coffee houses, museums, anything beautiful, waterfalls, everything like that. So, as I can see here, I brought two colleagues with me. Well, not colleagues, they're more like chums. I brought them with me today so that, uh, so that they can uh, also get the feeling for this place and see what they feel about it. Let's have a look. Oh, look, what's that say there? Okay. Enjoy your drink. Naive cafe and art, okay. Interesting stuff around here. So what do you have now? Um have a uh, uh, cafe uh, mocha. Uh, hot. Cup and cup. Steam. Stephen, yes. how is your coffee? Outstanding. Outstanding? Outstanding. Outstanding coffee. What did you have? An Americano. Americano. What's American? And Rene, how Cappuccino. was your coffee? Very, very good. Okay, so Rene, you mentioned earlier when we were in the reception there something about modern and contemporary art. Yeah. So uh, the art here is very much the modern movement which was started at um, Silapakon University uh, probably um, after the Second World War and the um, professor, the teacher, uh, who was uh, an Italian who was affectionately dubbed um, Silapak Virasi, he uh, basically bred a generation of Thai modern artists by conveying the principles of all the modern art movements in Europe. And so from that, um, this movement was great. And that's the art that's here. Now look, I've got to tell you something, right? I had no idea that Rene was so knowledgeable about art before we came here. I mean, I should have guessed, to be honest. Um, however, because he's very knowledgeable about beer, you see, as well. He's got his own, own beer company called Cold Chain Craft. Bit of shameless advertising for him there. Um, for all you millions of people that see this video. Um, so, what else can you tell us about, about art in general in Chiang Mai? Because it seems to me that, you know, everywhere... Everywhere you go in Chiang Mai, you find, you find it is absolutely everywhere. And is this what was created just after the war by Siri? Silapa Birasi. Okay. No, um, actually, uh, Chiang Mai um, created its own movement, which started in the 90s, 
with uh, names like m i c h a i i n k a m i n l e j a i p r a s e r r u p r i t u r a n i a a few others um, who became very important in the contemporary movement, but that actually broke off. From the narrative that was started in Bangkok, and that was very much about contemporary art, about starting from a blank canvas versus interpreting existing modernist styles, right? So, um, uh, and and that actually started in Chiang Mai. Right. That's not what I'm seeing here. Okay. What? What? what tell me what you're seeing here. Well, very much um, uses of. Modern styles, perhaps applied to local themes, using you know the colors and the textures and the themes um, of of Thailand, of Southeast Asia. So um, yeah, that's what's here. Have you actually looked in the museum itself? In there, uh, I just had a quick little scoot around, and uh, wow. Was absolutely at the reception. Yeah, you go through the reception and come out. Oh no, uh, at the back. It is absolutely spectacular. I mean, uh, I didn't know anything like this existed in Thailand. Well, let's let alone see, in maybe Thailand. Can... Yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee uh, and uh, and we'll go and have a little look. I'm talking of coffee. Look at that lovely cup as well. Look at it. It's all so incredibly spectacular. All of it. Amazing. Uh, let's try this. It seems criminal to to make a mess of it, really. <laughs> Would you answer that for me? <laughs> no, oh, you want the whole bag, or you want to uh, two thirds of it? I think. Two thirds. Look how delightful it is. He's not only here yeah, to talk to me; he's, all, he's put my sugar in for me. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I reckon that's about lovely. Thank you. Look, even the spoon is. This country never ceases to amaze me with its, its its innovation, its beauty. It's just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, there's plenty about it that one wouldn't mind changing, but you wouldn't want to change everything. That's for sure. There's a lovely kind of simplicity in Thailand. But actually, I think what you might like to call it is childlike. It's a kind of childlike. Mentality that people have here, you know, and I think in the West we we lose a lot of that. That not childishness, not to be mixed up with that, Ch being childlike. So, so if you like, kind of like um, keeping in touch with what you might describe as your inner child. Uh, and uh, I just feel that um, in Thailand, in particular, people retain that. Uh, and it's a beautiful thing to see. Let's have my coffee. Cheers to that. And the other thing is that the the, uh, <laughs> the coffee here is fantastic. Before I came to Thailand, I didn't realize just how how good uh, the coffee is uh, in Thailand. And they, uh, as I've said previously, they grow an awful lot of it. And um, and. There's just coffee shops, beautiful coffee shops, just like this one, absolutely everywhere. What a lovely subject I've chosen to film. Ah. Cheers. Okay, so we've had our coffee, which was absolutely delightful. We're going to go on now to the museum, have a little look round, uh, and we're going to use some of Rene's expertise to find out a little bit more about the art in here, which, uh, as I said earlier, uh, is bloody marvellous. Let's go and have a look. And here we go. This one is uh, Lampu. Yeah. So this is a younger Thai artist that has uh, very much, very much has her own style, this characteristic uh, large heads with a very uh, hyperbolic expression, and she's quite prolific. She, she paints a lot and is, you know, widely collected here in Thailand. And you don't really need to say much. I think her work speaks for herself. This is her style. This is how she paints a, a lot of expression, um, humor. Yeah. It's great.
great when you've got an expert with you, isn't it? I've had no idea. Let's see what else Rene's got to say. Yeah, so. What is the Uh it, Well, it's. Um, I can't be sure there is some kind of a jest on that. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, you know, having uh, this kind of um, protection. Yeah. Uh, and again, it's very. Satirical, the oversized heads and the kind of uh, whimsical expressions. For some of you who simply can't get here uh, because of restrictions, etc., although things are opening up at the moment, but for some of you who simply can't get here, this may be the only opportunity you ever get to come and see something like this. So I'm very happy to have been able to take you here.